Hi guys, it's Cal from Nerdy Weasel. Welcome back to the mod organizer for Fallout 3 series. This episode is more on the technical side of things. We'll be using FO3 Edit to clean our DLCs and various mods to help prevent crashes. This tutorial is geared for the new user just getting started modding Fallout 3. FO3 Edit is a powerful tool, and this will be using it in its most basic of applications but also one of its most important by cleaning our mods. It's a quick one, so let's get started. All right, so now we're gonna talk about cleaning our mods. You know, we'll be using one of the tools that we installed in episode three, and that would be modding tools, and we'll be going to use FO3 Edit. And one of the things I noticed in the last episode is that when you open Mod Organizer, and we installed just a few mods, you open up loot and you take a look at it. Remember loot was covered in episode three as well and why it's an important tool is that it's going to give you information about all your mods and what potential problems it may have. And well, you can see all these yellow references right here are dirty edits. You know, Operation Anchorage has 54 identical to master records and 10 deleted references. It says to clean with FO3 edit. Well, if you're an old pro to modding and you know all about this stuff and you've, you've used FNV Edit or TS5 Edit, this is probably nothing new to you. Uh, you know how to clean these things. But for those that are just now getting into modding and want to know how to do this, what you're going to do is go ahead and use FO3 Edit. So you have this list right here and you can see, you know, all the masters need to be cleaned. Fallout Wanderers Edition main file ESM needs to be clean. Fallout Wanderers Edition alternate travel. Uh, all these things need to be cleaned. So what we're going to do is show you how to do that. So first thing you do, you've run loot now and you can see all your problems and you know what you need. I want you to just minimize that. And I want you to unlock Mod Organizer. Just unlock it and it'll open things back up for you and use things. So over in this corner, remember I have fo3 edit right there you can also access it by using your drop down and you have fo3 edit right there i know it uses the skyrim symbol but that doesn't matter so you can use it either way i want you to go ahead and run it and you'll go ahead and get this master plugin selection and this is all of your plugins that you presently have active now you notice they're all checked if you right click on the field you open the little box you can select all select none or invert selection i want you to click none now you haven't selected any of these things now, but if you go ahead and come up to Anchorage right there, remember this is the first one we're going to clean because it has, if you come up here, that's why I keep loot open. It has 54 identical master records and 10 deleted references. Clean with FO3 edit, okay. So what you're gonna do is double click on Operation Anchorage right there, boom, boom, and it will open up the file. And it's gonna, at the top here, you're gonna have FO3.ESM, FO3, exe these are the masters so when you open this up you can go and take a look at all the files that are in operation anchorage but you don't really need to i want you to go ahead and just leave it the way it is i want you to right click on operation anchorage and you're going to apply filter for cleaning right there apply filter for cleaning and it's going to do some work and it's done it says process records 800 and 5,000 elapsed time one second. So it's actually did a pretty good job. So let's go ahead and select it and right click on it again. Now remember you said in loot it has 54 identical to master records. Okay. So right click on it and we are going to remove identical to master records. Go ahead and select that and it's going to give you a warning. Are you sure? It's going to give you a little countdown right there. Yes, I'm absolutely sure. So you can see it's already finished that. Identical to master records done. Process records, remove records 54. So that was the exact same number as what we had in the loot report. All right, so that's step one. I want you to go ahead and right click on it again. And we are going to undelete and disable references, what we call UDRs. So you're going to go ahead and click that. And it's going to work for a second. And undelete and disable references, process records 43,000. Undeleted records, 10. Exactly the same as what we had in our loot report. That's okay, so we got that. Now, that is all we need to do with Operation Anchorage. Believe it or not, that's clean. So you're gonna go ahead and close it. 
Now you're going to get the save change files. The only thing we should have checked here is operation anchorage.esm. You do not want to click backup plugins. That used to be a standard thing with Mod Organizer, but we're not going to do that anymore. It's just not worth it. If you want to restore this file to its original thing, go ahead and you're going to need to revalidate your files through Steam or however you do it. But you know, that's basically it. It's clean and it's ready to go. So you go ahead and click OK. And it's going to close. We're going to close loot also because this information is now old. Go ahead and close that. And when you come back, you will have nothing in your override except for FO3 edit backups. You can go and delete that because there's nothing in here. Okay, nothing in here. Go and delete that. Yes, and close. We'll run loot again. And it'll give you a report and you notice the yellow bar is missing with those 54 ITMs and the 10 UDRs. Identical to masters and the undeleted references. So that's basically, it's clean now. So that's a good thing. So if you want to go through and do it again, I'm gonna, I should have left that open, I'm sorry. So the next one down to do would be the pit. I'm gonna minimize that down, unlock it, and we'll do the same thing again. Run a FO3 edit, and we'll repeat the process, select none. But this time we're going to go ahead and click the pit. Do not click Anchorage, just the pit. Double click it. And you see once again it has its masters and the pit ESM. Take a look at loot, 40 and 5. Just remember that, 40 and 5. So highlight it, right click it, apply filter for cleaning. And it's done. And we will go ahead and Remove identical to master records. Do this one first always. I'm going to give you the warning again. Absolutely sure. Yep. And it's done. 40. 40 and 5. Those are our numbers. Okay. Remove 40 of those. And then we do the same thing with undelete and disable references. It's going to come down and it's going to say undeleting disable references done. Undeleted references, undeleted records zero. Well, we had five, right? Well, plugin contains five deleted nav meshes which cannot be undeleted. All right, let's go ahead and close that down. It's going to give you the pit.esm and your backup plugins is unchecked. Once again, this is the only one thing here. Go and click OK. There we go. And once again, in the overwrite, you'll have FO3 edit backups. We know we can delete that because there's nothing in there. And close. Close loot, and we open up loot again. And you can see now that the pit, which was the second one we cleaned, it's now showing no more ITMs, no more deleted references, and the deleted nav meshes, it's okay, they're gone. So that means it's basically, it recognized that it, you made the cleaning and it's okay to move on. And what you're gonna do is go ahead and do the same thing with Broken Steel, Point Lookout, and Zeta. Go ahead and just close Mod Organizer down, or you can leave it open for uh, reference sake and just minimize it down, unlock it, and do it all over with all these ESMs. There you go. I'm going to go through and I'm going to do the same thing with all of mine, and then we'll be back when they're all done. So I've completed cleaning all my ESMs, all the DLC ESMs, and the loot report now looks much better. All the errors are missing. So they're not really errors, they're more warnings, active dirty plugins, that sort of thing. So these are all clean. So when you continue to scroll down your list, you'll come up to ones like Fallout 3 Wanderers Edition Main File ESM and the Fallout Wanderers Edition Alternate Travel. Three ITMs, one deleted reference for the alternate travel, just 13 ITMs for the main file.esm. Cleaning these are very similar to cleaning your DLC ESMs. Go ahead and just uh, minimize that down like before. Unlock. Open FO3 Edit. Select None. And then refer back and you're going to the FO3 Wanderers Edition main file.esm. All right. FO3 Wanderers Edition main file ESM. Double click it. And the same thing as before. 
It's going to give you your masters, and that's fine. Go ahead and just highlight it alone. Right click, apply filter for cleaning. Just like before, it's very similar. Right click again, remove identical to master records. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I am. Don't worry about all those colors. It's just telling you different stuff as you get more into FO3 edit. It'll give you more information about what all those things mean. Absolutely sure. Okay, identical to master records done. Remove 13. Check your loot report. It had 13. That's all it has. It does not have any undelete and disable references. Okay, no delete or references to clean up. So go ahead and close that. And you're going to close FO3 edit. And once again, FO3 Wanderers Edition main file is the only one there. No click backups. Click OK. Now, if you ever want to create a backup of this, it's probably just easier to reinstall the mod, you know, as per the directions in, you know, earlier episodes. It's just better that way. So just trust me on that. But every time you delete a mod and reinstall it into your priorities list on the left, you'll need to go back through and reclean it. So that's how you do that. Now, if you wanted to just go in and do the next one, FO3 edit, run. Select none, and it was the alternate travel. Double click it, the same thing. There's, there's nothing here. I mean, now it lists the, as a master as the Fallout Wanderers Edition main file. Don't click this, just highlight this, right click, apply filter for cleaning, select, right click again, remove identical to master records. Yes, I'm sure. Thank you. And it's done. Now remember in the loot report, it said it had one deleted reference. So we're actually going to do that on this one, undelete and disable references. It had one. That's all it had. So the same thing as before. Close that down. It says good. Click OK. There we are. So now when you open your loot report, Wanderers Edition main file out ESM cleaned, alternate travel clean, and you're going to do the same thing with all these other files. Just go ahead and do them, get them all cleaned up, and you'll be able to go through and have a clean record. That's all there is to it, guys. I mean, FO3 Edit is, you know, at its basic, a wonderful tool, and you'll use it a lot, but this is the most basic use, and that's to clean things up, and that's going to help prevent any crashes, you know, ITM's produce less crashes than UDRs, but it always is a good idea to have those cleaned up before you move on to doing any big installs. So that was a good time to do it. I think I wanted to get that out there, give you the tools you need to help reduce crashes. So that's it for now. And uh, the next episode, we'll be installing more mods. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.